This week, the Alabama House of Representatives passed HB 336 by Rex Reynolds. If you'll remember, that's our plumbers and gas fitters bill that raises that ratio of apprentices to journeymen from three to one to five to one. Uh, that passed the House at 101 to zero. We appreciate all the leadership that uh, Representative Reynolds has shown in this, as well as we like to thank all the members of the House for their work in, in getting that bill moving forward and helpfully hope, hopefully help us uh, address some of the workforce issues uh, facing the trades. Uh, that bill now moves to the Senate. We expect it to be in committee on Tuesday in governmental affairs. It'll be joined in the Senate committee by the Senate version that's sponsored by Represent uh, Senator Kirk Hatcher. Uh, we'll have those bills up. Hopefully we'll get those passed and be in a position uh, to be on the floor of the Senate sometime either later in the week or the week following spring break. Uh, we'll be watching those and we'll keep you all abreast of that as we go forward. Um, other, le other legislation that we're working on, the uh, temporary permanent power legislation, we uh, fully expect to get introduced on Tuesday. Uh, once it is, we'll try to work that bill and see if we can't move it uh, prior to the end of session. Uh, statewide building code, uh, we've had several meetings on that one. Uh, we're going to take it as it comes as far as letting all the different interested parties have an opportunity to uh, kind of weigh in and their concerns. We're going to work on that and hopefully have a bill that's strong and that everyone, everyone can agree to uh, going forward. With that, as always, anything that comes before the legislature that will affect our industry, uh, we'll bring that to you as soon as we can.